Hello everyone and welcome back to the match here on WE 2K22. Up next we have got The Rock going one-on-one -on -one against Roman Reigns. Well I say one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously Roman's got the Usos and Paul Heyman at ringside but as we know in this game, managers do absolutely nothing. Let's crack a lack into the action. And the bell goes then, we are underway. Both these guys pretty high up in the rankings at the moment, but both would definitely like to be higher up. Yeah, let's see where they actually are at the moment. I'm pretty sure they're, they're high up. Uh, where am I? That's the one. So, Roman. So, Roman Reigns in 16th position. He's actually joint 15th. Uh, with Walter, Batista and Yaki Numazawa. Um, whereas The Rock is up in 11th, which is also joint 8th with Hogan, The Big Show, and Samoa Joe. So both of them really up there, and uh, definitely options for championships in the future. Roman gets tripped now by The Rock, who drops down the boots. And Roman running back in with that neckbreaker. And now Roman heading up to the middle rope, went for the clothesline. Rock got their knee up. Did feel like it hurt the Rock quite a bit as well, though, getting his knee up. Roman now dropping the Rock head first in the corner. The Rock now with a knee in the gut, then in now with that Russian leg sweep. And The Rock now heading up to a higher position. Big elbow drop. So I'm getting the elder quite aggressively, I do apologise. As The Rock now raining down the boots right into the chest of Roman, brings him back up to a standing base, but Roman just slaps the hand away. Big clothesline. And there's the big Superman punch, and if you saw it, it was actually to the, the side of the head, the temple. So that was a very, very painful, and can actually knock you flat out as well. That was very impressive. As Rock able to break free. I just fed you. You're not starving to death. I promise you. She doesn't believe me. Rock now rolling Roman through and drops the big elbow into the head. Rock went for the clothesline. Rain was able to duck it, but Rock now back in control. Spins him round. And Rock once again looking for a DDT, but Reigns fighting away. There's Rock with a knee in the gut. And now in with that gut buster. And here he goes, taking that armband down. We've seen what he does here before. He springs off the ropes in with a most electrifying move in sports entertainment. The people's elbow. But Reigns was too close to the ropes. Reigns now up on the top one. Uh, sorry, the Rock up on the top. Thinking high risk. And he goes. Oh, he went for the drop kick. Completely missed, though. What? It can't be that bad, possibly. God, this is a very angry cat. She's been so quiet all day, and as soon as I hit record, she's just really aggressive. What? Give me a couple of minutes. God, this cat. Can you hear it in the background? The lip I'm getting here is terrible. The Rock now in with that DDT on Roman Reigns. Once again, bringing Roman back up to a standing base. Rock trying to grab a hold of the leg. Roman sees it coming and just launches the rock. Two guys lock up once again. Rock sending Roman over the top. Then in with that stunner. 
And of course, these two fighting to really see who is the head of the family, who is the head of the table. I mean, potentially we could like build upon this, you know, have a like a sort of generational war. Have the Rock team up with, I don't know. I was going to say Rikishi, but it doesn't make sense to have Rikishi in there, does it really, when the Usos are on the other side? Uh, maybe Umaga. Yokozuna. Roman now brings the Rock back up to a standing base. And once again, that Superman punch right in the back of their head. And Reigns now backing away into the corner, stalking the Rock. Looking for that big spear, and that could be game, set, match for Roman Reigns and the Rock. But Roman really taking his time, finally does drop into the pin. Has he given the Rock enough time to recuperate, or is that still going to be enough for the free? No, the Rock did have enough left in the tank. And like I said, I think Roman just left it too long there. Roman really left it too long as he rains the strikes into the side of the head of the Rock. And now stamping on the hand over and over again of the Rock. Rock rolling through and just dropping those big stiff forearms. And Rock once again heading to the top. It hasn't worked for him so far in this match. But he's going to continue the go. He goes in with a big crossbody. And the Rock now in with that Rock bottom. He's hit the people's elbow. Now hitting the Rock bottom. Rock drops into the pin. Reigns is close to the ropes, but not close enough for the referee to stop it automatically. And oh, Reigns is able to kick out just before the free count. The Rock now hooking the legs, going in for that sharpshooter. And there's the tap. Roman Reigns taps out to the sharpshooter from The Rock. Very impressive victory for The Rock. Disappointing for Roman. He'll feel like he should have done better as he now moves down to plus 8. But The Rock with that victory moves up to plus 12 and gets himself up to joint 6 from the rankings uh, on plus 12 with Lance Archer and Pete Dunne. There we go. The People's Champion is now the head of the family once again as he knocks off Roman Reigns. Right. I do hope you've enjoyed this one. Of course, if you have, hit the like button, subscribe, all the other good stuff, and I'll see you again very, very soon for our next match.